Hello everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to loop a certain amount of times in Python and we're going to do that with the for and the range function. Alright, let's get going. So as far as why I want to do this, let's say I want to print out happy birthday. Let's say I want to print it out again and 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 again. So I could just repeat this line of code 5 times, 10 times, or 20 times, but there is a better way and I'm going to show that now. Before I do that though, just a reminder, whenever I loop or I repeat in Python or any computer language, this is called iteration, a super important term for the APC SP exam. So the command I'm going to use to repeat a certain number of times is for variable in range. This comes in a lot of forms. This is its first form. So again, the command is for variable in range. The times right here is the number of times I want to repeat. Variable is a counting variable, which I can use to keep track of what number I'm on. And don't forget the colon that you need for all four loops. If you know scratch, it's just like the repeat. So here it is in action for variable in range. And I'm going to print out hello. When I run it, it prints out hello six times. I can do the same thing with a variable. So here I've set number to four. That is my variable. And it prints out four times. Finally, if I want to, I can print out the value of that variable variable. So let's do that. So here it is. Note that even though the number is four, I'm starting at zero. And it's not including four, it's going to one less than four, which is three. So if my range is four, my counting variables will be zero, one, two, three. So remember this for the next step, because next I'm going to show you what to do if you need to generate a series of numbers. So that brings me to the second form of four variable in range. And you saw from before that I could use a variable and print them out. And I can take advantage of this fact to generate numbers. So in this form, inside the range, inside the parentheses, I'm going to have instead of just one number, I'm going to have two numbers, a starting number, and an ending number. And it will generate numbers from the start all the way up to the end, but not including the end. Not including the end. So here we have it in action. And when I run the code, it prints out the numbers. So I'm printing out variable. And it starts with 1, which is my starting number. And it ends before the 5, which is my ending number. So one way to think about this is that if I take 5 minus 1, I get 4. And that's the numbers I get. That's the number of numbers that I get. If I include the 5, then I would have what's for 5 numbers. And maybe that's a little bit counterintuitive. So if you think of it that way, that might help you remember that we are not including the last number. I could also do this with a variable. So here I'm setting number to 10. And it prints from 1 to 9. Again, less than 10. Then we have a third form of for variable in range, and that is when we have three things inside the parentheses. So we have the start, the end, and the step, and the step controls how much we increment, either forward or backwards. So here I'm generating numbers between 1 and 9, and I'm incrementing or stepping by 2. I can do the same thing stepping by 3. And I can even have a negative step. Say I want to generate numbers from 10 to 1, descending. And here we go. Common mistakes. So the common mistakes associated with four variable in range are not that many. First class are the types that are associated with four. So, so every so often, you'll see people forget the colon at the end of the line. Or they might forget the indent. By far the most common mistake, though, is people just forgetting to put the range right here. So if you forget to put the range right here, you get 3 and 9 inside of parentheses. That's a data structure called a tuple. And so instead of generating the numbers within the range, they'll generate just these two numbers. Same thing if I get rid of the second number. Actually, here it doesn't even work at all because you can't loop over the integer 3. So be sure to put that range in there. Okay, so here are the solutions to the labs. All of these links are in the description below. So this first one here, it just wants me to repeat six times. Remember, four variable in range. So I'll do that now, range, run it. It runs it six times, and I'm good. Second one, the problem wants us to use the second form where I have a start and an end. So it wants me to print out numbers between 5 and 12 not including 12. So really, between 5 
and 11, including 5 and 11. So remember the range one more time, 5 and 12. Remember, end will end before end. It will not include end. It's not inclusive. And when I run it, it prints up between 5 and 11. And that's what I want. Next one. Okay, so for this one, it wants us to use the third form where I have three things inside the parentheses. It wants us to print out the numbers between 5 and negative 15, descending but skipping every four. So once again, I'll use the range in here. In this third form, I use the number I start with first. I use the number I end with second. And third, I'll use my step. So my step is negative four because I'm descending, I'm going down. And when I run it, I get the answer I'm looking for. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.